Hey, this is Flash from Flash Hobbies, and today we're going to do an unboxing of the Leopard Hobby Brushless Motor 2200 kV A scale. And this is going to be going on my 10th scale uh, Revo. As a lot of people know, that the Revo is not an actual 10th scale. Honestly, it's more of an A scale, so you need a lot more power to run it due to the big tires that you get. Plus, just the added weight. But uh, just first impressions, uh, you know. Pretty basic packaging. I don't think I've ever gotten anything in the size like this a little cylinder, but um, it looks like it comes with uh, bullet connectors. Oh, actually, I, that's cool. I didn't know it was gonna come. This is actually a centered motor. I didn't think it was gonna come with the the cable. The thing is, my ESC I don't think is censored. I don't believe so. I'll check on that. Uh, let's see. The next thing you get is a warranty card. All right. I guess you can register your motor with, uh, this is from Atomic RC. And looks like, last but not least, ooh, the motor. All right, so first impressions, wow. Pretty awesome motor. And I'm um, sorry, this is the 2150 kV motor. But wow, I must say I'm very impressed with this motor so far. Um, it turns really, really smooth. Um, it's got the built-in heatsink fins on it. I don't think these are removable at all. Uh, one thing I don't like, which I will cover up, is this here. So there's not a lot of dirt and grit getting into that that bearing in there. And I'm also going to cover up the the sensor port. Uh, but like I said, wow, just the motor feels good. This is all anodized aluminum red housing that it has. Um, the wires don't feel too stiff. They feel a little stiff right here. Um, but, you know, it's no big deal. It's not like I'm going to be moving these wires too much. But, like I said, first impressions, wow. Uh, this is just, it feels really good. And I got this for about 60 bucks, uh, which is pretty unheard of for a motor this size, this power. Uh, usually they go for double the price, the Mamba Monster. Minimum, you can find it for about 100 bucks. Um, it's a little out of my price range right now. Um, you know, I just got into the Revo, so I want to see what this motor can do. I already had it, an eighth scale motor in it, but I felt like it was a little, mm, it was a 2200 kV, but it was a little underpowered for the size of this vehicle. So I, especially when I'm running, um, two 7.6, uh, Turnigy batteries. So, yeah, but, um, once again, this is a good look at the Leopard Hobby brushless motor. This is a censored sensorless motor. And again, this is uh, from Atomic RC. I will put a link down below because I believe they do have more. All right, and in here I'm just going to show you a quick installation of the motor. What you will need is a uh, two and a half millimeter hex and also a uh, two millimeter hex. What you want to do is use a two and a half for the screw that's behind the motor mount. You want to unscrew that, and once it's unscrewed, your motor mount should come loose. As so. Next, you want to use these two screws that you're going to use to uh, attach your motor to the motor mount. And then, just want to screw it in like so. Now, the other side. The next thing you want to do is you want to line this thing up here with the peg that's down here. And there you go, your motor is installed. All you have to do now is put your pinion on there. You will need a one and a half uh, hex in order to put the grub screw on the pinion. Um, what I'm going to run is a 2154 and see how it performs with that and just take it from there. Um, but that's a very quick installation, very easy. As you can see, it's, uh, I want to say about the same size as the Mamba Monster. Maybe not as thick, but just about as long. And um, no issues so far. It looks like the pinion's going to fit just fine. Just in case you want to know what, what pinion I'm going to run, I'm going to run the Traxxas um, 5644. And I believe this is actually a 18th tooth, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is an 18, so correction. I'm going to run 1854 on this uh, Revo and see how it, how it handles, if it overheats, you know, any issues that I may have. But um, that's it. You know, very quick installation. You're just going to plug these back into your ESC wire, you know, blue to blue and so forth, you know the drill.
But uh, once again, thanks for watching. Any comments, questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.